What's up, Internet? The point of this video is to discuss the idea that not exactly, but pretty much the case is that Trump people are the new Ron Paul people. It's not the same group. So I'll get that right up front. I'm not saying it's the same group of people, but I am saying that it's the same type of belief and fervor of, oh, this guy can do it. This guy can really make a difference. Ah, I'm really sorry to break it to you guys, but the people that control the big interests of this world are not that clumsy as to let some one person come in and foil everything. Would you gain all the power and money in the world and then ally yourself with a bunch of other really powerful people and then leave yourself vulnerable to a system called democracy that allows one guy to come in and somehow make a difference? The fact that people, and I've been saying this for two election cycles now, <laughs> the fact that people are still thinking that whoever is in the Oval Office is the determinant or even a sway against what is ultimately going to happen, not just in America, but entirely worldwide, the control is not in the hands of the people. You can control your life. You can control your life to a great extent. You can't control the lives of your friends or your family. You can't even ask your mom or your brother or your sister, hey, could you please this? Could you please that? They're not going to always do it. What makes you think that a million or hundreds of millions of individuals are somehow going to have a collective vision and then impart that in from one man and then have that one man or woman take on the strongest individuals in the world, money-wise and power-wise, and then the fact that they're allied together and have been for hundreds of years. You, Donald Trump, and Ron Paul people in the past, I was one of them, I fell out of the illusion, you can't keep thinking that somehow one person is going to get into power in any country and then sway it. The power change has to start from the bottom up. As long as we keep voting and thinking it comes from the top down, we're never going to get a change. You guys got to get it through your skull that your ballot is worth dick. Got it? All right, guys. Peace out.